At the turn of the century, 20 million people lived more than a day's ride from town. Most farmers had milk cows and other animals that had to be cared for daily. Hitching up a team and wagon for a town trip was an infrequent and difficult event. The car brought freedom from all that. One of the central myths of our car culture is that Henry Ford invented the automobile. He did not. No one person really invented the automobile. The first models were a rolling collection of assorted parts from many inventors. The French are generally credited with the first successful gasoline engine in 1861, 35 years before Henry Ford. It managed to wheeze along, generating a thundering one and a half horsepower. It turns out that horses are involved in another myth of the car culture. The automobile brought pollution to cities, right? Wrong. Before the noise and stench of cars, there was the noise and stench of horses. Imagine 130,000 horses in Manhattan at the turn of the century. Imagine the sights, the sounds. Imagine the smell. All that from the overworked animals that managed to stay alive. Horses sometimes died and you had this enormous dead horse lying by the side of the road until someone could get rid of it. I think it, it has to have been very difficult. I mean, when we think of horses today, we think of these beautiful animals prancing along. But if you imagine um, a crowded streets that are crowded with cars, substitute horses, it, it has to have been uh, pretty awful. As early as 1868, there were public calls for a cheap mechanical substitute for the horse. That is a major reason why America fell in love with the automobile so quickly and completely. 